Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me. And the first story that I'm going to be covering today is about the attempted robbery of the Arsenal football players, Ozil and Kalasinak. This happened in North London. Two armed muggers have been jailed for 10 years after attempting to rob two Arsenal football players. This is from the independent i'm going to reference first and then i've got some other reports as well the luxury watch he was wearing was worth two hundred thousand pound harrow crown court heard that ashley smith and his accomplice did not count on the bravery of the bosnian and arsenal defender kalazina in fighting back his teammate ozil then drove them from the ambush from the would-be robbers as they pursued them throwing stones and rocks at the car smith who is 30 years old was described by the judge ian bourne as a career a criminal he was well known to police and he was out on license for a 40 month sentence for burglary in 2017 when he was trying to carry out a street robbery on the arsenal football players he had been released in connection with a burglary offense in january smith of archway north london had previously pleaded guilty to the attempted robbery feet from kolasniak's home in hampstead northwest london on july the 25th the judge said that smith who appeared in court via video link had a leading role in a, in a very serious attempted robbery with jordan north over 26 years old the would-be robbers used a stolen moped dressed in helmets dark clothing and tried to conceal their identities north over jordan will be sentenced at another date he's likely to get a similar sentence if not more what it doesn't say in the independent which it said in court papers that was released afterwards was they actually used a, a knitting needle a sewing needle that's what he had it wasn't a knife in the sun it actually said they had knives but they didn't have any knives they had a sewing needle that's what they used the other reason the player was able to react they produced tended to try and stab him so as soon as somebody realizes you you don't really want to stab them the situation changes somebody that's capable of defending themselves is more likely to try and fight back if they think that you don't really want to hurt them and the other news is what they didn't mention as well in that independent newspaper article is that ashley smith was attacked in prison the reason he was on video link was because he was severely injured it happened this month on the 10th of november one of the muggers who attempted to rob two arsenal football players of their watches has been filmed being violently attacked in prison and another thing as well jordan northover was actually on bail for attempting to burgle kalasniak's home at a previous date so these footballers were being targeted by these two guys they tried to rob their home before so they must have realized that this footballer lived in the area and sort of tried to target him twice and both times it failed anyway back to this part of the story which is from the metro uh, smith was jailed for 10 years for the attempted carjacking it was an attempted robbery but carjacking it's becoming a different paper now before before he was sentenced he was attacked in custody by another inmate armed with a knife in a video obtained by the sunday mirror and shared by inmates on whatsapp smith is seen lying on the south floor begging for mercy after being repeatedly punched in the face he shouts i can't see i can't see he's apparently accused of robbing his attacker's friend who is saying if you don't give me a name now you're dead as he feared for his life while in hmp pentonville after the attack she told the court as you can see he has a towel around his head he was attacked last night he has stitches in his right eye and he may lose the sight in his left eye it was made clear to him that his life was in danger because from the video which i've seen it actually clearly states the guy thinks that he's responsible for another burglary and as you can see from the other article ashley had several different burglaries on his record and he was on bail for a burglary and he was also recently convicted for one too in the video he is seen saying that it wasn't him and the guy doesn't seem to show any justice any mercy even upon hearing that and he tells him to either tell him who did it and carries on beating him the fact the paper have published this video is nothing but clickbait there's no reason to do it it's a man being beaten mercy mercilessly he's not going to come out of prison said he's nearly 40 years old what you have to understand is every single person you rob has a family they have somebody that they care about and if they ever find out that you did it there is definitely somebody out there that is going to have a, a bone to pick with you so just remember for every single person you do a wrong by that is an extra person in life that could come back to bite you on the arse when you're trying to do turn your life around later on which of course when you're young and you're trying to make money on road it's something you don't think about you don't think about having to deal with people later on in life but just don't forget that every single person has a family everybody has somebody that 
they care about. So when you're taking other people's things, don't be surprised when you make somebody angry and they want to get payback. I hope these two men, because they are nearly 30 years old, one's 30 and the other's 26, do sort their lives out when they come out and stop trying to rob people and just try and do a different type of hustle, try and get a job, try and learn a trade, try and do a skill or a talent. Everybody has something they can do. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and follow us on Instagram as well for the latest music and street news.